Lost my hat. Lost my hat. Hi, welcome back to Daisy's Little Shed Shop. Today, I'm here at my brother-in-law's on location. Wonderful place this is. Say hello. Don't just walk past, say hello. This is Charlie, my brother-in-law. Sister-in-law to be in the kitchen where she should be, exactly. <laughs> Along with Mrs. Shed Shop. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna get killed later. But I'm here because they would like a plinth built in to their outdoor storage shack, shed, brick built doodah. Because they've had their new washing machine and tumble dryers turn up today and they've gone for a heat pump, which I love heat pump. Tumble dryers are amazing. Yes, everyone should have one. They're a lot cheaper than a condenser. So, with that in mind, they asked me, idiots, to come here and help. So I have been in there and uh, we've ordered up some 18 mil, eight foot by four foot ply, and uh, that turned up this morning. We've also got some uh, 12 mil hardwood, um, eight foot by four foot ply, so two sheets of each, and we've got a bit of insulation to do for behind this door. So we're gonna be making a six foot plinth to be able to pop them on and hopefully it'll look quite nice. I have no idea. Let me show you where it's gonna be. Ooh. Ready? So where I'm standing right here, I'm actually gonna be six inches, so I'd say six foot higher. I'll be six inches higher later on when we build this plinth. I have 18 mil ply and luck on my part. Bloody hot today. I probably will change my t-shirt at some point and change color, that is for sure. We're gonna get on with this. Look at this, Disney princess, bing! That'd be nice if it was done, wouldn't it? What an idiot. So what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to cover up this waste pipe cover up the old water in there and make sure that we're high enough for the plugs. We've actually got water coming in, so it'll be nice and easy to plumb in. It's a cold water feed and well, that's what most washing machines are these days and I didn't bother to check with him to make sure it definitely is a cold water feed. I bloody well hope so. But obviously right where I'm standing, here used to be the old outhouse. So we have this waste pipe going into the old bog waste pipe. Now I'm gonna get cracking. I've already done some measurements, so we're gonna be uh, 1,845 mil long and we're gonna go 700 mil from the wall so we can make sure we've got space with a socket and some plugs and then enough room to cut out some extra bits if need be and if we've got time we're going to clap the wall over here and here and hope that we can get the top built as well if we can that would be awesome if we can't shit stuffs and cocoa puffs looks like we'll be coming back another day let's crack on that's some measurements i can't cut that thing in one go i mean well it's just not wide enough it's pretty wide but it's not wide enough Got me roller table, my outfeeder here. Brilliant, if you haven't seen that, go and watch the video. So we're gonna cut some six inch strips so I can cut it down to the right width before I can actually then cut 700 mil in one go. If you've seen this before, you know it's shit. I really, really have to double check the bollocks on it. And saw stops coming to the UK very soon. And I want one. I love you guys, saw stops. And you guys, Yandles. I know you're getting them first. Yes, I'd like one. Two damn ones, please. Test piece. Power! Dangerous. Don't pull back unless you've got a sled on it. Close enough. Are you sure? Yeah. It's 164. <laughs> 164th of an inch. It's fucking close enough. Don't try this at home. Right. This has such a dangerous place for a bloody stop button. Go whack yourself a hole in the wall. <laughs> Mrs S in the kitchen on her knees as she should be, you right darling? Yep. What we have here in the undergrowth is a youngster learning to use these things we call power tools. There you go, son. Well done. Bosh. It ain't going nowhere. And how does this youngster 
Phew! After doing such a brave job. With a power tool. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. It's what a level four. Bosh. Well worth 50 quid. I'm gonna taste this. Yeah, that's yeah. Move those to give me just enough room. Bring it back to this edge. And walk around. I think it's It's quite good fun. It's the sound of success. Oh, we will know. Yeah, so now, yeah, it should be. We're going to cut this out, say halfway to the knot. Like we're cutting this to to the knot. This knot. Yeah. Okay, so halfway through there to this knot to cut out this fucking <laughs> pipe. That is the terminology. Fucking pipe. Been a bit of fun in here. Oh yeah, turns out the pipes, they're just in the way. So we decided to cut out everything around where the pipes are going to go. This was a complete hash from start to finish and we haven't even finished yet. Oh I know, as you can probably see it's dark outside so ah, sod it. Just trying to strengthen this end which we decided is a good idea to be able to get out, to be able to get to the pieces if ever needed. It's just paying a jacksie is all. Now I'm just strengthening. The Z shape in the floor because anything else just doesn't sodding work because the whole damn floor is uneven. Would it have been a good idea to screed it first? Probably. And damn it's hot! Damn it's hot! Check back in a bit. He's hurt. Boom. So, I've managed to lose my glasses somewhere. In the house. Uh, that's in the house. Hats on the floor. One sheet of 18 mil, eight foot by four foot ply. And we've managed to make this plinth. Good old. floor plinth with a serviceable side so we've got a washing machine here and your waste pipe for it there and we had to cut out the damn pipe area because someone measured roll should have been seven should have been eight yes it would have been very high but right right Charlie he's nodding <laughs> and then we'd have completely missed there we would have missed this pipe here but it's okay because like I said all of this on this side can be unscrewed. Actually, it can be stayed screwed in on that one. But it can be unscrewed along here and here and can be lifted out. So this can actually be got to. This tap's actually not freaking used anymore. I mean, that's the old water inlet for the old toilet that used to be here a long, long time ago. Now, what we're going to be doing at some point is we're going to be boxing out this wall so it comes out probably about this far. And then that is going to hide behind it the water pipe over here and the waste pipe. So washing machine's gonna be going here, tumble dryer's gonna be going here. We're gonna box in this door here and then we're gonna box in each of the washing machine tumble dryers and have some shelves in the middle so it'll look quite nice. And then they get their choice of what the hell they like as a worktop, which I don't have to do because I ain't gonna pick it. Personally, I'd just stick ply on there and be done with it because I love ply. You know I love ply and you can make it look sexy as as long as you have a nice sheet to, uh, to start with. It might be ply. 
Yes! Conversion! But it'll have to be a nice sheet, which means you're gonna have to go there, pick it out, get it cut, and bring it home in the car, because his car's tiny. And his, his missus' his car's even tinier, which means it'll probably be in our fucking car. <laughs> With that said, Charlie did mention it might not be a bad idea to unscrew all these sodding screws I've just put in, right dude? Yeah. And with the bracing that we're putting underneath, to fill it. And it's not a bad idea. We have expandy frame. Because it will make sound deadening for one, which would be good for the washing machines. Washing machine and heat pump, thumb dryer. It would be good for them. Less noise, brilliant. The rest of this is gonna be an office. So that will be less noise and it'll be sound deadening, and it'll also be uh, more support for it. It's been a long day, a very wet day, and it's not even rained. I'm gonna be leaving my tools here, I'll be coming back tomorrow, and I think we're gonna do the wall. Maybe Yay. just put the actual machines in. Thanks for watching today's little shed shop. We'll see you again soon.